Hoosiers, I just got done in the park sharing this routine with some friends and I thought I'd post it on YouTube so they can help to help them remember what we learned and for any of you that are looking for some transition ideas. So I'm going to first run through it and show you what it looks like and then if it looks interesting to you, you can continue watching and I'll break it down for you in words. Okay, so here it goes. Basically now I'm just repeating what we did. So actually I'll stop there and but we end up here, we do the same thing and then we end up here. So it's like a circuit. Okay? So here's a breakdown if that looked interesting to you. We start with a one-handed isolation. It's a pinky lead isolation. So that's how we start and then and it's in our dominant hand. Okay? So it's dominant hand, pinky lead, isolation. When we get to about six o'clock with our hand, take the other hand, put it inside the hip and uh, inside the hoop and start to smear. So we're gonna smear, our non-dominant hand is gonna come down towards the hip, we're smearing across the belly, then we're gonna smear across the back. So that gets us in the right turning, um, the right way with our smear. So, and if you don't know how to smear, I have a tutorial on that, just find it on my um, YouTube channel. So we're smearing, like that and we should end up with the hoop at our um, front dominant hand at six o'clock. We're going to continue that hoop going up. We rotate our the hoop over our hand just like we would in an isolation. Get rid of this other, the non-dominant hand and we continue in our one-handed isolation. Okay and then from there we're going to do a three-quarter barrel roll we're going to turn in the direction of our dominant hand so we as the hoop is at about six o'clock we do our barrel roll we turn 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 with it you should end up looking like this if you really slow it down then we just push out and go into a forward weave going um, side to side forward weave then we do our jump through so as the hoops across us we jump through continuing into our forward weave. Then we're gonna just turn a quarter turn towards our dominant side, and again, we end up in a one-handed isolation. From there, when the hoop, when our hand is at six o'clock, we're just gonna let the hoop go and do one isopop, okay? If you're familiar with linear isolations, you could throw in something of that. You could throw in all kinds of things. I'm sure there's lots of things you could throw in. So, I just decided to do one simple isopop, and then from there we are going to when the hoop is at six o'clock we're going to drop the outer the top edge of the hoop down so the hoop goes down this hand comes up and we that ends up with us in an outside grip that will take us into our big circles so now we're in the arms up um, now we're in the outside grip and we're going to do big arm circles, our thumb's gonna lead it, okay? So our thumb comes up, we go big arm circle, when we can go no more, we do a twist, twist, twist with the wrist, skimming my ceiling, and we keep doing that, okay? So it's just a little difficult in this room, but I'll make it work. So, big arm circles with wrist twists, and if you know the thumb lead weave at um, going front to back, you can throw those in, that looks kinda cool to just do some big circles with some little ones, you know, small and large movements there. But if you want to just stick with these, we can do those um, big arm circles. As we come around, we tap the hoop with our non-dominant hand and we're going to extend out this hoop. We're going to bend over. It's going to roll across our back. Okay. So, I, and then I'm going to scoop the hoop from the back side front. So I'm, I end up coming down like this. I tap the hoop. It goes across my back. And I drop the hoop. It happens to all of us. That's part of learning. 
So let's start it again. Wrist twist and then tap across, catch, yes. And I also, when I caught the hoop, I turned a quarter turn to my dominant side, which ended me up in a reverse weave, okay? So I'm just reverse weaving, my pinky's leading side to side. And from there, as the hoop comes on the same side as that arm, as it's scooping up, I grip the hoop, and then I twist my wrist the only way it can twist. Twist, 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 and bring it back down, which changed me from a reverse weave to a forward weave. So now I'm in my forward weave. I'm gonna turn another quarter turn towards my dominant side, which, but the hoop's gonna stay in the same plane. So it's coming, I'm basically doing a forward weave, but it's in the wall plane, or you know, going front to back. As it comes from the back, instead of coming, bringing it front, I'm gonna bring it behind me, and I'm gonna switch hands. So I'm doing a behind the back pass, and continuing the movement of the hoop, so now I'm basically in a reverse weave, my pinky's leading, but it's in a front and back orientation. Okay, and then as the hoop comes in front, I just slide my thumb in, bringing my fingers back in, and then I'm in the exact same spot we started with, and now I'm gonna do a whole recap without talking, finishing back facing you, okay? So here we go, here's how the whole thing goes. Let's hope I don't mess it up. Anyway, Hope you enjoyed that little routine and got something out of it. I have weekly hoop gatherings when I'm in town in Scottsdale and so if you liked what you saw and you live near me, please contact me at pam at pamhoops.com and I'd love to add you to my email alert list and we can hoop together soon. Alright, have a great day.